Hello everyone, myself Paula Mabwana, Assistant Professor of PC Department at LJ Institute of Engineering Technology. Welcome to the session of satellite communication. So in the last session on number 6 at the space segment, we have started what do you mean by satellite telephony and what are different types of segment. Apart from that, how to control attitude of satellite based on two method in this. So over here in depth we are going to study the different types of method like momentum stabilization and the spinning satellite stabilization. So the spinning satellite stabilization will be done with the help of its the gravitation field of center. And the momentum based stabilization will be done with the help of a perimetry axis of the satellite or based on the earth, sun, and the star sensors. Okay. Now, firstly, we are going to focus on the momentum based stabilization. So, momentum based stabilization means what? It uses the reaction wheels or the momentum wheels to correct its orbital perturbation. Now, what do you mean by orbital perturbation? Orbital perturbation means there is a drift in the orbit in which the satellite is going to be rotated around the Earth. That means as this is my satellite, this is my Earth and satellite has started the rotation around the Earth. This is starting point. And because of the orbital perturbation, as it is moving forward, and as it will reach to that point over here, the starting point, there is a small drift because of the gravitation pull of the field of sun and the moon and the earth is not a perfect spherical. Okay, so there is uh, the gravitation force at different point, at different instant of time, at different point, there is a different. Okay, so as it is moving around the earth, it start from the starting point after. The one complete rotation, it will not reach to this, will not end up this uh, movement, rotation at the starting point. Okay? So, this is called the orbital perturbations. Okay? So, it uses the reaction wheels or momentum wheels. The basic control technique which is used in the momentum wheel is to speed up or slow down. The momentum wheel depending upon the in which direction a satellite is perturbed. The okay. so satellite will rotate in the direction opposite to that of the speed change in the wheel. Right? Now the momentum will, con will consist of having the bearing assembly, the casing and the electric drive motor with the associated electronic control circuit. Alright? So, what are the function of that components? First, the flywheel is going to be attached to the rotor which consists of the permanent magnet that provides a magnetic field for the rotation of the motor. Second, the stator of the motor which is going to be attached to the body of the satellite. So based on the rotation of motor or the flywheel, the stator is going to be rotated. As stator is attached to the satellite body, it is also going to be rotated in the desired direction based on the command. Okay? Thus, this motor will provides the coupling between flywheel and the satellite structure. So, how much amount of speed and torque is going to be generated? Firstly, the speed and the torque control of the motor is going to be exercised through the how much amount of current is going to be applied to the stator. Right? So, the term momentum width is usually reserved for wheels that operate at non zero momentum. And this is term a momentum bias. Okay. This is how the momentum will 
still additional impeded. See, over here it consists of road, U, and pitch wheel. That will change its direction accordingly. Alright? This is inside the satellite as well. Okay? So, first of all, the reaction wheels. There are three reaction wheels are there. The one is going to be used for rotation in each axis. Rho is for vertical axis, U is for horizontal axis, and the pitch is to rotate the satellite in this direction. Okay, perpendicular to both of the axis. Alright. So they can be rotated in the end of the direction. For the movement of satellite in the vertical axis, the rho will be rotated. For the movement of satellite in the horizontal axis, rho will be rotated. And for the movement of satellite in this direction, the pitch will be rotated. Okay? And over here, the thrusters are used. Okay, so based on the movement, it will rotate. And the rectangular one here are the sensors. Alright? So this is how the momentum will shift addition to control the attitude of satellite. Alright? Now the second method is Spinning state stabilization. So the spinning state stabilization can be achieved with the help of cylindrical circuit. So the circuit will going to be spin based on the gravitational field of the earth. Okay, this is a central body. So the satellite is going to be constructed in such a way that it is going to be mechanically balanced about a specific axis. And it is going to be spin around this axis. Okay? So, this spin is going to be initiated during the launch phase. Whenever I am going to launch the satellite, the spinning will be initiated okay? by means of applying a small gear stress. So, overall effect is the spin rate will going to decrease. And the direction of the anchor spin axis will change. So the impulse set thrusters or jet that I have discussed it is used to increase the spinning of spinning rate. That means how much at how much of amount of speed it is required to spin the satellite. Okay? And to shift the axis back to its correct north-south orientation. So the first task of thruster is to increase the spinning rate and second task is to correct its not south orientation. So the spinning rate is typically in the range of 50 to 100 revolution per minute. Okay. So the spinning can be done in the two ways. First one is the simple spinner and the dual spinner. So in the simple spinner configuration the satellite and the other subsystem are going to be placed in the spinning section. While the antenna and field are placed in the base point platform. Okay. And in the dual spinner configuration, the entire payload along with the antenna and the other subsystem is going to be placed in this one platform and others are located on the spinning. Okay, so in the first single spinning, the satellite and the spinning payload are going to be placed in the spinning platform. Okay, and other systems are placed in this one. And the rotor reverse is then the there. Okay, so in the both the configuration, the solar cells are mounted in the cylindrical body. Okay. So over here we have done the two different method of activating the control system. First one is active method that is a momentum stabilization with that of 
rotation of separate with the in three axis rule each and zero. Second, we have studied a spinning spring stabilization. Okay, with the help of using the gravitational field of central point. Right. So, in the next session, we will study the how orbital control will be there. So, these are the definitions that I have taken. But still, if you have any doubt, you can ask me anytime. I'll try to fulfill it. Till then, thank you for your attention.